Shalom. Welcome to this short video. I just wanted to share one of my favorite features uh, in Logos Bible software. And so we're going to talk about creating a custom reading plan for any book in your library. I don't know how you read. I personally love reading. I have paper back or hardcover books that I am currently reading. But as well, there are some other books that I have in my Logos library that I honestly wouldn't read without a good reading plan. Um, sometimes there are academic books that I really need to get through uh, in order to learn things that I do need to learn. Um, but they're not the most exciting ones, right? Those are the, the cure um, for insomnia kind of books sometimes. Um, but again, I don't know how you read. I don't know what your reading habits are. I know that most people, uh, most Christians that I know, wish they would read more than they actually do. And so a custom reading plan works perfect for reading your Bible, and it works perfect for reading any book that you have in your Logos library. So let's go to Logos. And um, we are there at 1 Timothy 4, 13. Um, powerful verse, till I come, give attention to reading. And of course, this is the Apostle Paul talking to Timothy, um, but I cannot take it as God speaking directly to me, till I come, give attention to reading. And so that's exactly what we want to do. Um, on, the, uh, on the top left, um, we can see the little icon uh, like looks like a house so that's your home um icon and then right beside it we have our library icon up top we have our docs guides and tools and uh, maybe we'll explore some of these in a later video however today we're going to be focusing on docs all right so um let's click on um, the little home button. Uh, this is my dashboard. Uh, yours can be customized using um, on the top right, your plus. You can put courses, daily devotionals, and, and whatever you want there, prayer lists, includes, including reading plans and whatnot. Um, and then you can customize how you look at this, whether you want four columns or less. Uh, I'm okay with my three columns. But notice that I have a few books here, and I promise I was uh, on par with my reading until uh, I'd say a couple of months ago uh, when just life happens and everything fell behind. But I'm reading two, four, six, eight books here in Logos. Uh, of course, you can open this on your cell phone, on your iPad, uh, wherever you have Logos installed. Once you own the program, you have, uh, you know, you have a, a laptop that you can uh, save the program to. You can use it on your phone. Um, there's an app for the iPad and other tablets and so on. So whatever you're doing here, you can continue reading, uh, reading uh, on the road. So. Uh, as you can see, though, uh, it tells me where I am, pages 120 on that book, page 190 on that, page 43, uh, and also tells you the percentage you've actually read, right? In Interpreting Galatians, I was reading uh, a one-year plan. I'm on page 43. This is actually a methodology book, really good, but um, Moses Selva, and I'm at 16% of my reading. Um, I have other stuff on Mesopotamian religion, six months. I'm reading this because uh, one of my professors at the university wrote this book. Um, and then I have other interests, of course. Uh, so let's see. Um, let's go to, let's go back to um, our Bibles. And let me see. Let me find the book I want to read. Uh, it's called Targum and Testament. And I have four that have a similar title or have those two words, Targum and Testament Revisited, Aramaic Paraphrases of the Hebrew Bible, um, then a bibliography, biblical exegesis in the apostolic period probably contains something related to that. 
and the interpretation of scripture in early Judaism and Christianity. Um, this is the book I want. All right. Now, notice that um, it has the table of contents open. If it didn't, you could click right here on the, on the left, and that will kind of toggle your um, table of contents. And so that is helpful, uh, whether you want it there or not. Um, so normally, if you were to create a reading plan, it would normally include everything from the very uh, title page all the way to the last index. And of course, sometimes you don't want to include the uh, contents or the title page, especially if you have an academic book where uh, sometimes they will give you the whole list of academic journals and anything that they have um, quoted or used as a reference that's going to be listed in the, in the in the beginning of the book and you don't want to read through that um, as well uh, you have index of authors index of subjects and persons and index of citations and references so every verse book of the old testament and probably other types of literature is going to be listed i don't want those uh, in my reading plan and so uh, the appendixes I will read um, and probably going to go up to here, uh, page 331. That's the last appendix, and that's probably a very short one, uh, just the, the Aramaic Bible project, some information about what that includes. Uh, I do want to read that, page 331. Um, and again, preface, uh, that's probably a short one. Uh, I want to start with the introduction. So it's page one, all the way to page 331. So that's, um, so I have an overview of what, how I want to read it. No, now I'm going to go to docs up top and not just click, but I'm going to drag that down. I notice as I drag, uh, there's kind of like a shading appears. If I were to let go here, um, it would split my screen in two and, uh, or I could go, down below, it will do the same thing. If I go to the left, notice it will also split my screen in two or to the right, but I want the whole screen. Uh, so I'll let go there. And this is my different types of documents that I have, reading plans, word lists, clippings, visual filters, and whatnot, bibliographies. So um, we're gonna go to the right and here is the magic button for us, okay? Uh, this is what we're going to use. And so when you go there and you click new, uh, the different types of documents that you can create appear, uh, bibliographies, canvas, clippings, morph query, passage list, prayer list, reading plan. That's the magic one right there. And uh, the pop-up says reading plan documents let you schedule reading any book in your library. That's precisely what we want to do. I click on that and there are three options. Choose a predefined reading plan. That's where Logos decides how you're going to read and it will include everything, including the indexes and whatever else. I don't want to use that. The custom reading plan down below uh, is a little complicated and it doesn't give you all the tools for some reason, all the options. So. Um, I'll choose the middle one, which is generate a reading plan. Pick a book and a schedule to auto-populate a reading plan. So um, by default, because I had my New King James Version as my forefront window when we uh, opened the program, that's what it's asking me if I want to read. And I could say start right here, and it would immediately create a reading plan for me to read the Bible in one year. And that is fantastic, right? That is fantastic. So you can choose any version of the Bible that you have available and you can tell it how long you want uh, your plan to go. And it can be two years or three years even if you want, all right? But now um, I wanna change um, this King, New King James version to Targum and New Testament. So I'm gonna click there and here I'm gonna put Targum and there it is because it's the last one I used. So, and, and there's other, obviously other Targum documents. Um, by the way, Targum, it's just the, the uh, name for um, paraphrases of the Hebrew Bible. Like uh, 
close to the first century in and around the time of Jesus, the Jewish people no longer spoke Hebrew. They spoke Aramaic, but their scriptures were still in Hebrew. And so they would read the Hebrew scriptures and then somebody would paraphrase or interpret for the people so they could understand what was being read. Well, those uh, paraphrases in Aramaic became kind of like a, an oral tradition that later on they were uh, written down, but they, it tell, they tell us a lot about how people understood the Bible when they read it, because uh, if it's a paraphrase, it's not a literal, literal translation. And so they will give more meaning rather than just a wooden literalistic translation. And so they're very useful for interpreting the New Testament. So I'm going to click on that. So now it says read Targum and the New Testament in one year. Um, probably one year is fine. It's a very heavy academic book. Um, but do I want all passages? The answer is no. And notice that it says new reference range and then title. Uh, I'm just going to put 1-331, which are the pages that I want to read. I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to click outside that box. I notice that my pages now say 1 through 331. Um, and let's see what else. Uh, you can customize here this title. Uh, you could put or whatever. Yeah. Uh, for now, you can put your name um, or whatever you want. I just leave the um, the name of the book, and then I'll take that out and I put one year. That's kind of how I like to do that. Um, the shorter the name, obviously, uh, it's going to fit better when you have a lot of windows open and, and whatnot. Um, let's say I want to read every day. The answer is going to be no. Usually, I use the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule for reading. Um, and I have a couple of books already using that. But you can choose at your own pace, which means it's not really much of a schedule. I don't, I don't recommend that. I think a schedule helps us keep up to date. Uh, you can say every weekday, and up, when you go back and click, um, it, that's selected, and every day you're gonna read a little bit. Or you can choose what days you wanna read. I don't wanna read on Monday, maybe a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. All right, for this specific one. And you're gonna to start today, um, which is great. Uh, it's Tuesday actually, so there's probably gonna be a reading for today. You wanna to finish in one year. If you go click in that option, notice that you can do six months. You can do uh, different, uh, you can even select, like you say, you have a specific book you're reading for school, or for work and you say, no, I need to finish this in four weeks. Um, it would create a, like that. By yourself, um, there's different groups that you can belong to, um, like Defensores de la Fe, Defenders of the Faith, that's a group. Uh, I usually do it by myself. Uh, now, it's possible that we create a group for our uh, Fountain of Truth Bible Institute that everybody has to read a certain amount, you know, and so maybe we could have a group and everybody goes there and we share this. Uh, if I say start, it will create the calendar, uh, pages one through 21. Man, that's heavy. Of course, that's in four weeks, remember, right? Um, but that's 20 pages that we have to read or 21 pages that I would have to read today. Uh, no, for an academic book, that's too much. So I'm going to go back to edit. Uh, I don't want it four weeks. I want it one year. And notice here on the left, how it changes, depending on what you write. Uh, here, they, now I would just read two pages per day uh, on the days I am assigned, right? Like Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, that is fantastic. Uh, that is not a heavy load uh, by any means. And so I think I can handle it even if I'm really, really busy. I can take those five to 10 minutes in my 24 hours to actually read that. And so I am happy with that. And again, you can customize it. You can 
put number of sessions and the program will see if it was a Bible. You can say, I want to read uh, 10 verses a day or 30 verses a day or 100, and it will actually customize it and calculate automatically depending on what days of the, um, of the uh, week you want to read and how much time you want to uh, invest in that. Obviously, now this is a one-year um, plan. It's long-term, um, two pages a day, that's not bad. And I have other um, plans going at the same time. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna click on done. Then all I have to do is just click on the little X that appears here and I get out of here and click documents. I'm even gonna close Targum and New Testament. And I go back to home to see my dashboard. And lo and behold, I have three, six, nine books now, Targum and New Testament in one year. Notice that it says today. Um, if I had chosen, let's say, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it would tell me that I am up to date and no readings for today. But because I chose Tuesday and I'm recording this on a Tuesday, it actually says I need to read pages one and two today, which I hopefully will do, um, but that is really, really great. And so there are days when it says you're all uh, caught up and it will even uh, give you an offer to um, read ahead if you want. Um, one little thing uh, you notice here um, on the side where it tells you catch me up when you're behind don't click on catch me up because it's going to assume you actually read uh, up to today and it's going to just fast forward the whole thing and so it, it doesn't help uh, so don't don't touch that just whenever you need uh, to keep reading on a specific book just click on the book and read and then say i've read so let's try this let's double click on our targum and testament it takes us in to the program, it opens the book and notice that it is ready for me to begin reading. Okay, I'm on page one, introduction, um, and I'm reading, reading, reading. This is great. Page two, reading, 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 reading. Um, because it uh, slices the book in, in chunks, um, it doesn't end at a, at a period, all right? But what I'll do in a situation like this, I'll read all the way to the period. Uh, where it says by early written sources, and then I will click mark done. All right, notice what happens. I'm done, and now my next reading is on Thursday, pages three and four. So I'm done if I've read all of that, and it, that will take me probably four minutes. Um, and if, it, if the pages are that simple, uh, depending on what you're reading again, I may adjust it to read a little more every day and shorten the year to probably nine months or something like that. So I'm done with my reading today. I close it. Uh, let's say it's Wednesday. Um, I come to my dashboard. I'm like, oh, Targum, Targum and New Testament. Oh, notice I'm moving that around. Um, now I, you can actually do that. You can drag any reading you want to the position you want. Uh, I'm just dragging and dropping, okay? So, uh, it says you've completed your reading for today. If it's Wednesday, it already will say that as well. But I can say read ahead, right? And so when I say read ahead, um, double click on that. It takes me to Thursday. And I can read ahead if I want. And then I can mark done. And then the next date will appear there. So as you can see, it's super easy to use. It's fantastic. I don't even have to keep this open. I can close it. Why? Because they are always available up here in my dashboard. And so that's not a problem. Uh, again, let's see, I have The Scepter and the Star. It's a very scholarly book on uh, Second Temple Messianism. Uh, I can double click on that. And March 18, uh, I, I probably read more than that. But in this case, um, I moved on to other research interests, like the Hebrew roots of the Christian faith. And so March 18 is the last time I read anything. And I would have to continue from there on. And then mark that. 
So it's that easy, that easy. And if you have two or three books that you're reading, um, I know some people think, oh man, I, I get confused if I read different topics uh, daily. Uh, trust me, you won't. It's incredible, but your mind is able to keep everything in its own compartment. And so I don't have a problem reading nine books here. And I also reading some paperbacks outside. And um, I'm also reading a couple of books with my daughter. And then we are uh, listening to an audiobook as well. Whenever we go anywhere in the car, we just put the audiobook and we're uh, enjoying together uh, some kind of adventure. Uh, we read The Pilgrim's Progress, which is uh, a Christian um, allegory of uh, our road to salvation, which we enjoyed and we had a lot to talk about. So this is really fantastic. And I encourage you to use it. I wouldn't say it's a power user kind of thing, but I, you can see the power in this little thing, right? Um, so this is one of the simplest uh, features that Logos has available for you. Um, and I think you should take advantage of that. So I hope that this video was uh, helpful somehow. Um, I hope that um, it blessed you and let's put it to good use. And again, you can uh, go to your, um, you can go to your uh, Logos Bible software and choose what you wanna do, uh, the things that you wanna read. Um, you can even um, go to your library and see what kinds of books you have there that you may be interested in. Um, let's say I say Messianism, uh, Messiah. Uh, all the books that I have about Messianism or Messiah uh, are gonna open and I can choose any of these books and turn them into a reading plan. And so, um, you know, the sky is the limit, obviously. Uh, I doubt that I'll read all of these books uh, during my lifetime. I, I have quite a large library, but uh, they are there. They are there. And if I need something um, to get familiar with, it would be it like the Acts of the Apostles or the book of Genesis, I can turn these books into uh, a reading plan and I can actually... Um, not only start them because that's what happens right with all of us we start a book and we're all excited and by chapter three um, we have already forgotten about it because we started another book and uh, that's usually my problem i get excited about a lot of stuff and so this has helped me uh, honestly it has helped me to finish reading certain books that were very necessary for me to be familiar with and they became really useful and now because i've read the whole book and as, as you can see um let me go back and let me show you real quick uh Targumen testament um i could decide hey this this quote here the targums had a time of being very much outworked by christian scholars in consequence of the erroneous notion that they antedated the christian era whatever whatever maybe i thought this was fantastic i can just highlight that and it's highlighted you know and uh, so any time i come back to this book of uh, three years, four years from now, that highlight is gonna be there. And so much like I do with my paperback books, I write on them, I make notes, I highlight, um, so that by the time we are done with the reading, uh, we become good friends. We know each other kind of thing. Uh, and I hope you'll take advantage of, advantage of things like that. All right. Well, thank you very much for your attention. I hope this was a blessing again. If you are not currently attending our Bible Institute, I, I invite you to do so.